Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here today just to get ready. Simply get ready using things that I haven't used in a while. It's another shop my stash, get ready video where I just pull things out that I haven't shown love to in a while because when I do these videos, I end up remembering why I love the products, using them more and helping some of this vast collection not go to waste. So let's go ahead and get ready. Know if I've talked about this one on my channel or not, but Glow Skin Beauty sent over their concealer collection that they launched. I don't know. Well, I do know in August of last year, looking at my label and this was included in it and it's the color corrector in peach. And I actually like it. If I haven't talked about it, I should have because it works great. It is a little bit darker than I typically go for, but it's not the darkest that I have either. And I know I had talked in one of my, I think my playing when you makeup videos that I do find that the lighter peaches work best to color correct my specific shade of darkness without making it look darker. But this one seems to work, especially once you get like the concealer on top of it. It seems a little bit thicker of a formula when you first apply it, but it blends out nicely and it wears nicely under all the concealers that I have tried it under without getting too thick or creasing or caking. So the Luminous Brightening Concealer from Glow Skin in the shade Peach. This one I pulled out, I've been using it probably for the past, I don't know, two weeks because the brand reached out to me on Instagram asking if they could use a portion of my initial review in some of their content, social content, which I really appreciate when brands do that and don't just steal the content without asking. Anywho, um, of course I said yes, I love this so much. I pulled it back out because I, again, had just gotten so many new foundations that it had gotten kind of stuck in the back of the foundation collection, but it's the Air Perez Oat Milk Foundation. I did a full face of Air Perez review video. I'll try to put it up in a card. I really like this stuff. This is in the shade Chai and it comes in a squeeze bottle. So just squeeze some out. It is probably medium coverage, I would say. It also is a little bit thicker, but it goes so far. You don't need a lot. It's not too luminous, but it's definitely not matte as you can see. And if you wanted it to be even more sheer, you could apply it with your fingers or a sponge. And it's just forgiving on the skin. It's really, really pretty. And I just forgot how pretty until I pulled it back out. So you may actually see this in my favorites video this month because I have been reaching for it quite a lot. And Air Perez is an Australian brand that makes my all-time favorite setting powder, the corn translucent setting powder in the compact that I've gone through, I can't even tell you, at least five compacts. I'm gonna use one other thing from them in today's video, but really they just make great products. I think the only thing I wasn't overly wowed by was their eyeshadow, but I only tried one palette. So can't speak to all of them, but that, that particular palette didn't really work out for me, but everything else I tried, I loved. Now I think you know how much I'm going with the theme of this video that I am not using my Chantecai Future Skin Gel Foundation as my concealer. This is gonna be hard for me. <laughs> it has become such a favorite of mine, such a foolproof, never fails me. That's kind of the same thing as foolproof, right? Product to use as my concealer that I don't even think about other concealers anymore, but I do have so many in my collection, I do not want them all to go to waste. So I pulled out, pulled out, I pulled out my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. I got this, I used it for the first like week or so, couple weeks. I think I even talked about it maybe in a playing with new makeup or something. And I think I liked it, but I don't even remember because it was shortly after this that I started using the Chantecai and never looked back. So I'm gonna use this. This is in the shade number six. And again, I think I liked this. It's a very um, kind of emollient, creamy texture. I don't remember needing a lot. It's almost a little mousse-like. Hmm, yeah, I think I like it. It blends out nicely. This is definitely a very yellow shade. But it's got decent coverage. Pretty sure it's more like a medium coverage. It's not super full, which I appreciate because I don't really gravitate towards the full coverage concealers anymore. We move on with the rest of the face. I'll set with my Ilia Fade Into Soft Focus Powder under my eyes and then we'll be back. 
You set the face. I'm not going to use my Air Perez because I use that all the time. So that would definitely not be shopping my stash. But I pulled out from the very recesses of the back of my powder drawer, my By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. This is the loose formula. I do think I sold on a blog sale my compact because I liked it, but I didn't feel like it was different enough from the loose to warrant needing both. And this is, if you can see, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but it is one of those powders that just kind of goes everywhere. I think the Fit Glow Bamboo Powder is very similar to this, where you almost feel like it's not adhering to your brush it, because it looks like it's got static electricity built into it is the best way for me to explain it. But it does adhere and it does apply and it is a hydrating powder, but definitely mattifies. And I think you can see that. Like if you saw how like luminous and glowy the foundation was on its own, and then you apply this and it, and it mattifies it down. Now you can spray this, which I probably will at the end, but as the day goes on, it is less mattifying and more natural looking on the skin. For bronzer, I pulled out my Victoria Beckham. This is the matte bronzing brick. And Pro Victoria Beckham has the heaviest packaging of anyone else that I have. Now, I would say it would go toe to toe with Lila B packaging when they were still a company. I'm so sad that they went out of business, um, but it's kind of similar to that where it's very, very, very heavy, but not overly large in size. So this is the shade number three, but I am gonna probably just concentrate on this lightest shade. In the summer, I will kind of mix those two shades together. And just like my Jouer duo that I love so much, they're also both really good for eyeshadows. Now, how this differs from my Jouer, if you are someone who also has that one, because I know I've been talking about it a lot lately, this is a little bit warmer in tone than the Jouer, which is more neutral in my opinion. Another reason why I tend to like to get this one out in the summer where I can take the intense warmer tones a little bit more, but it's still beautiful either way. I had every intention of using a cream blush and I do that all the time. I go have a cream blush sitting right out in front of me and then I set my face with powder. Some powders I would feel like cream blushes would go over well, but I don't, I don't know. There's something about this one that I just, I'm not going to even chance it. So I pulled out a powder blush and this is from Clinique. This is the Sculpt, Sculptionary Cheek Contouring Palette which I had like a Clinique moment last year where they had like a 30% off sale and I started buying a lot of stuff and trying it and just loved everything. And I did a video using a lot of Clinique. I think it was a full face. And someone said, oh, you need to try this because I think you'll love it. And I did, and I do. And this is in the shade number one, Defining Nectars, because you know, I just am a peach type person. So I just, think maybe it's supposed to be mixed all together. I don't know. It's makeup, so there's no hard and fast rules, but I do just kind of mix it all together and just use that as my blush. Also pretty eyeshadows. See how pretty that is on the cheeks? Like you don't look at this and think, oh, it's gonna look like that, but it's so pretty. And I probably put too much on, so let's buff. And I'm buffing now with my Hourglass Radiant Light because I have a cream highlight, which I will put over the powder no, that doesn't make sense that I didn't do the blush that way, but let's just roll with it. So this is the Hourglass Radiant Light. And I'm just going to make sure there's no harsh lines and that any excess blush that I may have applied too much with is dialed down a little bit. If you are new to my channel, I do this almost every day when I wear makeup, but I do not do my forehead because this does have a natural sheen to it. And I don't like my forehead to be any shinier than it is right now. But what this does, see how it just kind of took that blush down. It's not as harsh. The lines are gone. It makes everything look more natural. For the cream highlight, I pulled out my Air Perez. This is the second Air Perez product and it is the Vanilla Highlighter in Falling Star. This is a huge amount of highlight. I don't know that I would, even if I use this as my sole highlight, it would take forever for me to get through it. And I think we all know it's not my sole highlight, but it's very pretty. And I just take these two fingers product on, and then I'll just lightly tap it up on the top of my cheekbone. 
See how it's just so pretty. And pretty, pretty, and pretty, pretty, and pretty foolproof. <laughs> I do think they have another color in this, but the Falling Star is, I'm glad I chose this one because it works really well. And then before I move on to eyes, I'm going to spritz with my Jane Ardell Palmist. Again, not a shot my stash because I use this almost every day. In fact, I need, I think I'm going to buy one of the big, you know, they have refills. If you didn't know, they have large refills that you can just pour into your existing bottle as you need it. And I think I'm just going to invest in that next time because I use it so much. All right, let's move on to eyes, which are going to be ah, super simple. You guessed it. I am going to start with my Beauty Counter Lid Glow Cream Shadow. This one is actually in the shade Ember. I use Aura 75% of the time I do eye makeup. I've talked about that before. I love Aura as a base for lid colors. It's a very pretty nude shade. This one I'm gonna use kind of all over. It's definitely a darker shade, but I'm going to start, I'm going to start with the application and the lay down of the product in the middle of my lid. And I'm going to go up to my crease because I'm going to blend it up into my crease. Then I'm going to take a brush and softly blend it out from there. I feel like when I'm working with darker colors like this, if I put too much in that inner corner right off the bat, it's gonna start making me look like I got punched in the eye. So if you apply it in the middle and then blend out and in from there, it seems to work better. And then I'll kind of blend up into the crease. And then it's not quite as dark and scary as when I first applied it. Now these are very buildable, so I could definitely go on with a second coat and make it even darker, but I don't really want to. I'm just gonna keep that as my base. And then I'm gonna go into my Dior Five Colors Couture Palette, and this is in the, in the shade Nude Dress, number 649. I have probably five or six of these quints from Dior that I don't use enough because I love them so much, and I just need to really give more love to them. I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is probably the one with the most amount of sheen, and it is just a very neutral taupe shade, and I'm just going to press that on the lid on top of that beauty counter sh shadow, cream shadow. For underneath the eye, I'm gonna go into this kind of taupe color right here. Still has a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's more of a satin shade than it is a shimmer. So it's still gonna work for this. And I didn't wanna use the beauty counter ember because it would have been too dark. Now, if I was going out maybe like to a nighttime event, then I might have done that, but in this case, I just want something a little bit lighter, but I still want that shadow underneath the eye. And then finally, I'm gonna go into this like very white frosty shade right here and brighten up this inner corner a little bit, which I feel like makes all the difference in the world when you're using darker shades like this, because again, it helps aid in not looking like you just got punched. And then I'll put a little bit under the brow. For mascara, I kind of shot my stash. I tend to not have too many mascaras open at one time, but I have been trying a couple of new ones lately. But I pulled out my Jane Arnell Beyond Lash Volumizing Mascara, and every time I use this, I wonder why I stopped, because I just love how it just makes my lashes very fluffy. Voluminous, yes. I feel like it does give more volume than it does length, but it's just fluffy. They're fluffy, and I like fluffy. Can I say fluffy one more time? I just did. All right, the final thing we are gonna do is lips. And this is kind of cheating because I forgot I had this. It was in a box in the back of my lipstick drawer. But I have tried this in other colors. This is the Beauty Pie Shine Up Lip Color Balm. And this is in the shade Baby Bear. Hopefully they still have this. But see, they're, they're sticks, basically. Colored balms, which is really kind of my favorite because if you can tell, it has a built-in gloss with it because it is a hydrating balm. I like this color, I think even more than the one I've used before. And that's it. That is the final look using the products that I shot my stash with and I like it. I think the only thing that I might not continue to use on a daily basis is a concealer only because 
while I do like it, I don't like it more than my Chantecaille. But I am glad I pulled it out because again, I need to use some of this stuff. It does not need to just sit there and go to waste. So hopefully you enjoyed this. I will have everything listed and linked down in the description box below per usual. Let me know if you have any questions, any recommendations or suggestions for future videos down in the comment section below. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day.